Hey you guys, it's MJ and welcome back to Pet Adventures again. So a lot of you guys always like to ask me how I bathe my rats. Typically, to be honest, I hardly ever bathe my rats, but when I do, there is a certain way that I like to do it, and there is a proper way to do it. Now everyone, I guess, probably does their rat baths a little different, um, but there are two shampoos you can use. Let me get off the other one real quick. Um, if I still have it. Yeah. So this is my other one. Um, as you can see, there's two different ones here. Uh, these are both completely safe for rats, so I would suggest using either one of these. And I really wouldn't recommend anything else just because I can't recommend anything else because these are the only two I've ever used. So you do want to go by these. Um, this is Microtech Shampoo. It's for dogs, cats, and puppies, it says, but it's completely safe for rats too. I've used it from time to time. And a local rat rescue and rattery uh, suggested this to me so they're really good they're high quality it's called Josephine's Rattery and Rescue and she suggested this to me and she takes care of loads and loads of rats way more than I do so I definitely trusted her judgment and I have also used this one this is by this is squeaky clean and it's by Katie um, I know I usually don't recommend Katie products to you guys you have to uh, understand that uh, certain KD products are not good, um, but when it comes to things like shampoos or toys, it's usually fine. But this is Squeaky Clean, Squeaky Clean Critter Shampoo. You can also get this pretty much at any pet store. I forgot where I got this. I think maybe it was PetSmart. Um, so this is really good. It's for any small animal uh, slash exotic animal. So I would recommend using these two. Um, I'm going to use the Microtech because it actually helps with really sensitive skin. It also helps if they're having um, any kind of skin allergies, which this rat is. So yeah. So first I'm going to fill up the area here. I'm going to fill it up. Make sure you have a stopper available on you. Some things don't, so watch out for that. So I'm going to try to make it a little warm, but not hot. Okay, so the temperature isn't too bad here. It's all right, it's kind of in the middle, so you don't want to make it too cold. So I'm just gonna put the stopper in. And you're just gonna let it fill up from there. I'm gonna let it fill up to about right here. Okay, so you're gonna do about right here. Of course, it, it, it does look a bit deep maybe at first, but um, you're here with your rat or any other small animal that you're doing this with, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of applying this directly to the rat, I'm actually just going to fill it in. of uh, shampoo in here or whatever so this is pretty good now this is not exactly warm but it's not exactly super cold either uh, luckily the temps here in Florida aren't too crazy right now 
for the water. So you're gonna keep it about there. The soap's already in there, you've already mixed it in. You've got uh, medium temperature water, so not super hot, but not super cold either. Um, so from there, you want to make sure that you have a towel available for you. This is a towel that I have here. Just a small medium towel is fine. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, um, but you need something to dry the rat off because it's not good to be leaving them wet after the, uh, the bath. That's very, very important. So you really don't want to do that. Um, you want to at least get them halfway dry. They can do the rest, but you want to make sure you can get them halfway dry. So this is Lucky. He's not going to be with us much longer. As most of you guys know, he has a tumor. Um, I have a video on that if you want to see what's going on with him. But he's my very, very old boy. He's my oldest rat and my first rat. And um, he's not able to clean himself up the way he used to be. So um, I'm just going to give him a quick bath. He is in some ways the easiest just because, you know, he's a... Uh, you know, he just can't get around as much as he used to. But he is pretty dirty. Um, he's got little poop all over him and stuff, so fair warning there. We're going to get him in here. You just want to dip him in. I know. I'm trying my best not to stress him out with this. I know, I know. They are going to be pretty stressed out. Just a dip. I know. It really depends on the rat too, so sometimes you might have to just, I don't know. And at this point, when they're this stressed out, you want to just leave them be for a second. I don't know. Boop. So for this rat, I'm going to uh, just mildly get the water in on him. I'm not going to make it crazy. Just kind of get it in on him. Okay, get his little feetsies. Some some rats you can dunk in right away, but some you can't. So for this rat, since he's super stressed out, I'm not going to. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to make it all crazy or anything like that. And he's already getting pretty clean right now. I know. I know. When they're really stressed out, just give them a minute. Let them have a break. struggling and uh, from there you can kind of just if it's a rat like this that gets stressed out easily you really just want to uh, kind of smooth it in okay and never ever pour running water on them because they will get uh, they will get pretty uh, stressed out over that so okay all right so he's all soaked up with the shampoo honestly most of it was uh, me doing the work there, just rubbing it in on him. All right, so from there, what we're going to do is we're gonna drain it. Most of this was uh, not so hard on him. And then we're just going to rinse. Get some clean water on him. I know. And if it's a really stressed out rat, be prepared that you might get pretty wet. You can see I'm pretty wet here. So if it's a rat that stresses out easily, see I already got that. And then you just dry him off from there. I got a lot of water on him. Uh, most of it's just water. Now, the soap has pretty much come off because I rinsed him off a bit. So yeah, it really depends on your rat. This rat gets stressed out really easily. But um, if it's a really sweet rat that's kind of chill, uh, you can just let them sit in the bath. That's pretty much fine. You can just let them sit in there. Right now, I'm just drying him off. Get his feet. 
drying him off here. Now they can do the drying off for the most part on their own, but sometimes they might need help. So you, like I said, you want to get most of it off for them. So. Okay, almost there, baby. Maybe -ish. <laughs> See, he's got it covered a little bit. And be prepared to get a little scratched. That will happen. Uh, they got very sharp claws, <laughs> so be very prepared to get scratched. And make sure you have a temporary container to put him in. And see, he's already getting dried off now. I just put a little bit of soapy water on him, and then I rinsed him off with regular water. But again, if it's a really, really sweet rat, you can just put them in the bath, but it depends. This rat gets stressed out easily over a lot of things. So, all right, for the most part, he's pretty dry. And uh, he can probably do the rest on his own. All right, that's how you bathe your ratty. They hate it, just like dogs and cats. They hate getting a bath. They do not like it. They never will like it. Um, maybe you'll have your exceptions. But um, yeah, that's basically how you do it. You just get soap and water already available so you can just get the water onto them. Never put the uh, shampoo directly on them and then the water because that just takes more time and that's more time for them to be stressed out. And never use the water that's super cold or super hot. You really want it medium temp water. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you bathe your ratty. Again, they don't enjoy it, but it's one way to go about it. So say goodbye, Lucky. And We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.